Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Zen. Really excited to have this episode with you guys today. I'm going to be discussing Stellar again because I have a bunch of new cool things to show you guys. So I'm on the front page of the official Stellar.org website. You see Stellar is an open network for storing and moving money. It's borderless, it's limitless, it's powerful. Stellar makes it possible to create, send, and trade digital representations of all forms of money. Dollars, pesos, Bitcoin, pretty much anything. It's designed so all the world's financial systems can work together on a single network. Stellar makes money better. Stellar APIs and blah, blah, blah. Let's keep going because I wanna, what I want to show you is all the way at the bottom. This is what's built on Stellar. So we have some names right here, you know, nothing too crazy, but when you click on Bitbond, this is what I really want to show you guys. Capital markets reinvented. Bitbond radically improves the issuance and settlement and custody of financial instruments with the help of blockchain technology and tokenization. So they're, they're basically helping with tokenization. And what they've said is basically in the future, everything's going to be tokenized. So all these stocks that you're familiar with will be tokenized on a blockchain. So could that be happening on Stellar? Um, well, let's look right here. Standard Chartered. Standard Chartered is a huge bank. They're, uh, they're partnered with Bitbond, who is using Stellar. I mean, they uh, they sponsor the, the Liverpool soccer team, it looks like. Big, big, uh, big. Right here, they have another bank. If you click uh, Vaughn, it leads to uh, this big bank right here. It's in a different language. I think it's in German. They're talking about digital banking. And that connects right back to Bitbond. There's a bunch of other stuff too, but we have other things to discuss. So this photo with Danielle, the CEO, talking about the tokenization, the digital transformation on, on the blockchain in Ukraine probably makes a lot more sense now after learning about Bitbond's relationship with with um, Stellar. So Bitbond has delivered blockchain power to financial technology since 2013. 13 is a powerful number. We pioneered financial markets with German first security token offerings, STO, by receiving uh, basically approval for a tokenized bond back in January 2019. And now they're doing it at a bigger level, it looks like, with Bitbond. So they have a lot of big support in uh, Germany. Here's a Stellar. Been pretty busy with uh, Ukraine. Also, the automated markets are coming soon, which we know is going to be massive. Also, um, Bit Global and the Stellar. Stellar Development Foundation have been announced as one of the 15 finalists for the Monetary Authority of Singapore's Global CBDC Challenge to develop and showcase retail CBDC solutions. So they're quietly making uh, a lot of moves. This Bitbond thing is pretty uh, impressive in my opinion. So let's see why these people are fans of this network. We're going to learn about the power of Stellar in this blog. So many great resources if you guys really want to learn. All right here on uh, Stellar's website. So take advantage of all the resources. This is um, going to be more valuable than college uh, education, in my opinion. If, if you know this technology, um, it's going to be really valuable in the future. The power of Stellar. Stellar is an open, interoperable payment and currency system. Below, we explain a few of Stellar powerful features, asset issuance, the network's distributed order book, book and the path payment systems that will enhance and simplify any fintech product. 
So here's what's really cool about Stellar and what I like about it. They make it really easy. On Stellar, you could issue your own assets. Stellar allows users to create redeemable, tradable representation of any asset. Such representations are called tokens. Tokens are most useful when tied to currencies representing dollars, wands, euros, digitally. Makes payment borderless and instant. But in theory, on Stellar, you could issue a token for corn bushels or, or gold or shares of REIT or an hour of time as a consultant. That's pretty cool. So like if you're a life coach, you could have a token where that that token equals one hour of coaching with you. Or if, or if you're a massage therapist, one token equals X, Y, Z. And that's kind of like what we did with, with our coin that we created. Stellar offers generalized toolkit for anyone to do what Tether did for the dollar with USDT or what Coinbase is doing with USDC. Stellar lets you digitalize value and then issue and redeem claim on it. The platform was designed for stable coins before stable coins was even a ward. So they've been innovators. So yeah, if you're a farmer and you got a bunch of corn, you could create a token that's backed by your corn. So it gives people freedom to uh, create a new thing. Well, let me show you something else. So federation, if you notice on lobster, your wallets are called federation wallets. A group of states with the central government, but with independence, internal affairs. So yes, we're a part of this, this group, but we bank independently ourselves. We're sovereign individuals as far as how we bank. So we, that's why we have federation wallets. So I just came up with that. I don't know if that's real or not. Driving into, wait, where were we? Um, oh, here we were. We were back here. So, sorry. So by default, seller tokens can be seen, held, and traded by users, but are highly configurable. If you uh, have specific compliance needs, you can, you can, for example. So they're already compliant, so you can make yours compliant with almost any jurisdiction. So functionality is built in at the protocol level. Tokenization is a fundamental part of the network. So that's one of the most important parts of Stellar is the tokenization. That's why Bitbond probably chose them. So supporting code is tested and fast. The ability to issue and redeem assets is one of Stellar's most powerful features. It means that all asset types can take advantages of Stellar's global reach, near instant transaction times, and ultra low cost. You can get started in just a few simple steps. There's documents if you want to learn more. So on Stellar, you could trade tokens peer to peer. They're discussing the order book right here, but we know that the market makers automated are coming. So that's going to change. And just like uh, on Stellar, you can transform currency as you send it. So if you only have one currency, let's say you have um, you have XLM and that person on the other end doesn't have XLM. They have, uh, Ethereum. You could send them. I don't know how it's going to work, but you could send them and it would basically change in, in route to what needs to happen. So I'll explain it to you right here. They'll do a better job. <laughs> Like any payment system, Stellar allows one user to send currency to another. A user can send user beat dollar tokens or lumens or whatever, but Stellar also allows a user to send one currency and have a recipient receive another. So like you could send a US dollar and the person on the other end receives a Chinese yuan. You get that? So like you send one thing and transform to what they need. This is called a path payment. It's a powerful innovation for international payments. For example, American company can pay invoice in Mexico by sending, by spending dollar tokens while the vendor receives peso tokens. Neither side incurs exchange risk or delays. Both sides 
get only the currency they want. So this goes more into it. So I see a huge value to this. The sender in the U.S. holds dollar tokens and signals to the network they want to send peso tokens to the vendor. The network searches through a decentralized exchange described above, finds the best price for the sender. And that's going to help a lot more when the automated markets with uh, automated market makers with protocol 18 with finding these good exchange rates. The network locks in the price and amounts. The sender confirms the transactions and the dollar token leaves their account. The transact transaction executes and the recipient gets the peso token. The payment is atomic and submitted to the network as a single transaction. Neither side can get caught in the middle and hold tokens they don't want. So that's cool. Above the sender in the U.S. doesn't have to hold pesos just for their payments Mex uh, to Mexico. The recipient in Mexico doesn't have to receive dollars. Then they have to sell for pesos. Neither side has to manually convert. Stellar automatically finds the best conversion rate and they're working to even make that better. Path payments are fulfillment of the seller's interoperability promise. Value flows seamlessly from account to account in whatever form is most useful. And just like water, when you watch water flow, it's gonna flow where it's easiest, where the water's gonna flow where it's easiest can flow. That's how water flows. It's going to go the easiest path. So it, water doesn't like friction. So that's a, a cool breakdown of what's to come. And, and the price hasn't been going up. Like the whole market's on fire right now. And Stellar is still not even at yearly highs. It was uh, a lot higher before. And uh, my boy Sam Connor, cool dude, because... Um, NASDAQ was posting about Solana stealing Stellar Summons Thunder this summer, and that's all good because they may have stole the summer, but winter's coming. Automated market makers and the smart contracts coming to Stellar will allow a clear narrative for XLM. In addition, the pendulum chain bridge to Ethereum is near. Looking forward to a big fourth quarter, basically. So it, it, it's heating up, and Stellar has everything that they want. It's we hear this whole narrative about becoming more energy efficient, driving into energy use on Stellar blockchain payment efficiency explained. We got this thunderbolt. Remember my saying about striking like lightning. Basically just ragging on proof of work currency, talking about all the stuff that we've talked about for a long time and we know. I, I mainly want to show you this cool um frame. So Comparing Stellar to Visa, to Bitcoin, to Ethereum, it's not even close. Not even close. The comparison. So Stellar, right here at the bottom, 0. 0.00022 kilowatts of energy blows Ethereum and Bitcoin out of the water as far as the, the energy. So there's a lot to uh, read here. If you guys want to read about the energy efficiency, check it out. I thought this was a cool post too by Dr. Bone 67. It's inevitable. Stellar is all walk, no talk. These other networks are all hyped up before they even test it or do what they claim to do. People will soon realize Stellar org is the one. Yeah, that's a dope tweet. I don't think there's going to be one. You see, I got XLM and XRP holding hands behind me. And I'm bullish on the whole entire ecosystem as a whole. So let's look into Ultra, Stel Ultra Stellar. Uh, this is, uh, they're building the future of money on Stellar Network. And they're working on the Aquarius project. And they've launched a bunch of successful projects. I want to tell you one more rewards program that Stellar has. You know, we've been talking about the different rewards programs on this channel. So... Uh, there is something called YXLM that's fully backed one-to-one -one XLM, a really official legit project. And they basically pay you 5% APY for holding YX, converting your XLM to YXLM. 
I personally hold my XLM in um, a ledger offline, but if, if you want to get interest payouts temporarily, every 24 hours, they'll pay you rewards uh, by storing your XL, XLM in YXLM. I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy to convert back and forth. Um, the y, they're not extremely high. They're only about, I think, 5% APY rates. Uh, that's not that great, but if you have enough to put in there, it, it could be beneficial storing some in there for a month or two. I don't know, but just wanted to throw this out there for you guys to research, uh, ultra stellar, um, Y X L M it's fully backed up. It's, it's in lobster. It's, it's on a uh, supported by ledger. It looks like as well. So check that out. They're basically, um, yeah, building the future of money on the Stellar Network. And they've been with them since 2014. And uh, they uh, have launched a lot of successful products on Stellar. If you guys want to look up different coins that have been created on Stellar, the coinmarketcap.com is what you use for like cryptos. For Stellar, you look up the SDEX Explorer. And this will show you a list of like the most relevant coins that are on stellar right now and what's happening on the stellar mar stellar marketplace and you can kind of see which ones are legit which ones are scams by looking on this so uh, sdex explorer okay guys I was, this was just a quick video a, a deep dive into the power of stellar and uh, a couple other things i hope you guys have an awesome weekend and uh, peace